The United National Liberation Front UNLF, also known as the United National Liberation Front of Manipur, is an insurgent group active in the state of Manipur in the northeast India which aims at establishing a sovereign and socialist Manipur. Background The United Nation Liberation Front's movement manifested as a result of several similar movements of the same political agenda. The outfit was founded on 24 November 1964 with the following key personalities as its Central Committee members Kalalung Kami, President Thankhopau Singsit, Vice President Arambam Samarendra, General Secretary Longjam Manamohan, member Laishram Kanhai, member Nongmaikapam Sanajaoba, member Nongmatham Pahari, member Ideology and aim The National Investigation Agency in September 2012, acknowledged that the activities carried out by the United National Liberation Front UNLF are for bringing sovereignty in the state of Manipur. The UNLF has viewed the statement as a big political victory. The UNLF chairperson, R.K. Megan alias Sanayama, has been charged for waging war against India by the NIA, but the UNLF leader has voiced that the UNLF does not view India or its army as enemies, and the UNLF only resist the Indian armed forces stationed in Manipur and to resist those people who engaged in colonial repression." Sanayama believes that Manipur is "...under martial law," and has questioned the character and worthiness of the elections that had been held in Manipur. He further believes that the most democratic means to resolve conflict is plebiscite. Organization The UNLF is one of the oldest insurgent organization in the northeast India. E. N. Ram Mohan, the former Director General of the Border Security Force, once wrote, of the five major Imphal Valley underground groups, the UNLF's ideology is by and large intact. The senior leadership is well educated and has good organizational control. Manipur People's Army Manipur People's Army was formed on 9 February 1987 as an army wing of UNLF. In 1991, the UNLF picked up arms, and its first armed action against IOF carried on 15 December of 1991 at Lambden on a CRPF convoy. In 2005, the strength of the MPA was estimated to about 2,000 armed cadres. According to the UNLF, by 2005, the UNLF was engaged in battle against about 50,000 armed personnel from the Indian Army, that are deployed against the organization in the forest regions of Manipur. The cadres of the group are drawn largely from the Mighties. The territory inhabited by the Nagas, consisting of four districts of Manipur, is the operating ground of Naga groups such as the NSCNs, who are predominantly Christian. The Imphal Valley, consisting of four districts, is the operating ground of Maitis groups such as PLA and PREPAK, who predominantly follow Vaishnav Hinduism. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy and tactics The UNLF is known to be heavily involved with extortion, arms trading, and income generating projects to finance their armed movements. They have several organized training camps within the northeast sector of India and the neighboring countries of Myanmar and Bangladesh. Ningtam Mira is the primary media outlet they use to make publications. Four-point proposal to Indian government The UNLF had put forward four conditiones sine quibus non before the Government of India if it is willing to initiate dialogue and ink a peace accord with the organization, which are a plebiscite under UN supervision to elicit the people's opinion on the core issue of restoration of Manipur's independence, deployment of a UN peacekeeping force in Manipur to ensure the process is free and fair. 
surrender of arms by the UNLF to the UN force, matched by the withdrawal of Indian troops. Handing over of political power by the UN in accordance with the results of the plebiscite. Topic arrest of chairperson On 4 December 2010, Sanayama was produced by the NIA, who claimed to have arrested Sanayama from Motahari in Bihar, while, Sanayama has proclaimed that he was abducted by the Bangladeshi agencies on 29 September 2010 and handed over to the agencies of India. Sanayama has been booked by the NIA for waging war against the Indian Union under Section 120 B IPC, 121, 121 A, 122 IPC and 16, 17, 18, 18 A, 18 B and 20 Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, 1967 as amended in 2008. After the arrest, he said that in a multi-community region, the idea of peace cannot be achieved without considering the collateral damages of the secondary con conflict that emerges out of the meaningless peace process, the Indian government ploy in the so-called peace process in Western Southeast Asia WESIA, Indian Northeast region is aimed at transforming the conflict between the peoples of the region with the government of India into a conflict between the peoples on ethnic lines. Drawing inspiration from the charged political atmosphere during the Naxalbari uprising, he had dropped out of the higher studies at the Jadaspur University in Kolkata, and picked up a gun and vanished into the forest about four decades ago, and had remained underground since then. <laughs> Controversies Civil rights activist Bablu Loitongbaum, said that there was an allegation that certain members of the UNLF had raped 20 women. We formed a multi-ethnic fact-finding team to go to the place. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to go inside the camp, we were not given any medical evidence. <laughs> See also